हेलो एवरीवन आई एम हर्षा ये जे इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब वीडियो काइंडली सब्सक्राइब इट सो टुडे आई एम विथ यू टू डिस्कस अबाउट कर्व फिटिंग द मैथमेटिकल डेफिनेशन ऑफ कर्व फिटिंग इज कर्व फिटिंग इज अ मेथड ऑफ फाइंडिंग ए स्पेसिफिक रिलेशन विच कनेक्टिंग द डिपेंडेंट एंड इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स फॉर ए गिवन डेटा सो which has to satisfy the data as accurately as possible so that is the mathematical definition in simple way curve fitting represents fitting a curve which may be linear or quadratic but it has to passes to the set of points x and y approximately okay so that depending on the nature of the points so in our syllabus we have to study three types of curves using the method of least square the first type is y equal to ax plus b that is a straight line it's a very well known thing the second type is y equal to a into x to the power b and third type is second degree parabola of the form y equal to ax square plus bx plus c so these three types we have to study and you have to find out the best curve using the method of least square in this video we will try to discuss all three types first we will start with straight line y equal to ax plus b so the first straight line of the form y equal to ax plus b to find the curve of best fit first we have to find a set of equations known as normal equations we just observe the equation here we have two constants a and b therefore first we have to find two normal equations how to find these normal equation it is very simple the first equation is obtained by taking the summation on both side so what happens lhs is y take the summation so it becomes summation y rhs a is constant i'll keep outside summation x plus you observe the last term there is no variable only one constant therefore you just multiply by n therefore the first normal equation is summation y equal to a into summation x plus n to b now i need one more normal equation how to get second normal equation it's very simple for the same equation y equal to x plus b first you multiply by independent variable x then you take the summation so what happens when you multiply by x it becomes x into y equal to a x square plus b x now you take the summation what do you get summation x into y equal to a is constant i'll keep outside summation x square plus b is constant i'll keep outside into summation x so we have two equation therefore for a given data you find out the values of summation x summation y summation xy and summation x square substitute here and here n represents number of pairs for x and y so once you get these values substitute you will get the value of constant a and b after that you substitute the value of a and b in the given equation which gives the required curve of best fit using the method of least square so let us try to understand this type with a simple example so i have taken a simple example fit a straight line y equal to x plus b for the following data so we have uh, x values as well as y values x is 1 3 4 6 8 9 11 11 and 14 y values are 1 2 4 4 5 7 8 and 9 as usual this is a straight line just now we studied two normal equation write down the normal equation always the first step is write down the normal equations now it's very clear we have eight values for x and y therefore the value of n is 8 now you just to see what are the things required in equation 1 we require summation x we require summation y summation x square and summation x to y therefore first you prepare the table first two columns are x and y i require x y in the normal equation so i have written as a third column as well as x square in the fourth column we know the value of x and y finding x y and x square is very simple i suggest you to use calculator so it becomes faster once you find out these values just find the sum because in the normal equation or in terms of summation so i got the values of summation as 56 40 364 584 
so substitute all these summation values in equation 1 that is normal equations so i substituted the values i got two equations first one is 56 into a plus 8 into b equal to 40 second one 524a in plus 56 b equal to 364 anyway this is two equation with two unknowns using calculator find out the values of a and b so approximately the value of a is 0 0.64 and the value of b is approximately 0.55 substitute in y equal to x plus b what do you get y equal to 0.64x plus 0.55 so this is the curve of best fit for a given data so this is first type now we will move on to the second type this is quite different this is y equal to a into x to the power b remember first type is y equal to a x plus b and second one is <coughs> y equal to a into x to the power b. So here the first step is take log. What do you get? Log y equal to log of a into x to the power b. Basis e. Uh, apply the property of logarithm on RHS. What do you get? Log of a into b is log a plus log b. So what do you get? Log y to the base e equal to log a to the base e plus b into log of x to the base e. Now you just observe that equation, exactly that is of the form y equal to a plus bx, right? So just to make simple, I will write same equation as y equal to a plus bx, capital Y represents log of small letter y to the base e, capital A represents log of a to the base e plus b equal to small b, same, capital X represents log of x to the base e. Now we got straight line, it is exactly same as first type, right? y equal to a plus bx. Now finding normal equation is very simple. What is the first equation? Take summation. But remember, all everything is capital letter. So first normal equation is summation y plus, so equal to a is constant, there is no variable. So n into a plus b into summation x. Second equation how to get? Simple, multiply by variable capital X not small letter then take summation what do you get summation x y equal to a into summation x plus b into summation x square so we got these two equation substitute all the values with the help of the given data find out capital a capital b but remember we have small letter a and b i want those two values how to get we know the value of capital a is log of small a to the base e which implies small letter a equal to a power a and small letter and capital letter of b are same so there is no changes so these two are the values of small letter a and b substitute in the equation y equal to a into x to the power b we will get the curve of best of fit so remember in the second type we have to take log first write in terms of capital x and y simplify find out the values of capital a and b then find small letter a and b substitute okay so that is the outline of let us try to understand with an example fit a least square for the curve y equal to a into x to the power b with the help of the following data so here we have the values of x as 1 2 3 4 5 and y values as 0 0.5 2 4.5 8 and 12.5 so obviously we have five set of values so n equal to 5 so this is the second type as usual first we will write down the normal equations how to write normal equation just now we discussed so based on that i'll write down the normal equation so these two are the normal equations now <coughs> capital y means log of y to the base e capital x means log of x to the base e a means log of small a to the base e b values are same so before writing on the table let us try to understand what are the things required in the table. Uh, we require capital X, capital Y, summation XY, summation X square. So they have given only small letter X and Y. That I will write down first in the table in the first and second column. Uh, third and fourth column I will write capital X, capital Y. How to get capital X means log of small x to the base E. Y means log of small letter Y to the base E. In the calculator, remember you have to use lan, not log, and x y x square. Once you get these values, find out the summations. Again, remember 
for the first and second column summation is not required because those two values are small letters but in a normal equation we have capital X and Y so we got the summation values for all the column so so now you substitute the values in the above normal equations and try to solve it so we have two equation first equation is 5a plus 4.7874b equal to 6.1092 second equation is 4.7874a plus 6.1993 into b equal to 9.0804 we have two equation with two unknowns using calculator you solve it so you get the value of capital a and b but b anyhow remains same for small letter also but small letter a means e power capital a so the value of small letter a is 0.5 therefore a is 0.5 b is 2 therefore substitute these two values in y equal to a into x to the power b and the answer is y equal to 0.5 x to the power 2 so this is the curve of best fit now we will move on to the last type this is quite simple so this is y equal to x square plus bx plus c this is also called second degree parabola how to find the normal equations again same procedure but there is one small difference i hope you understood the reason is we have three constants now a b and c therefore how many normal equations required yes we require three normal equations how to get the first normal equation as usual straight away take the summation so summation y equal to a into summation x square plus b into summation x plus in the third term there is no variable so n into c second one how to get multiply by x take summation so you get summation x y equal to a into summation x cube plus b into summation x square plus c into summation x how to get one more it's very simple first one straight away second one multiply by x so third one multiply by x square then you take the summation so answer is summation x square y equal to a into summation x to the power 4 plus b into summation x cube plus c into summation x square now let us try to understand this with a small example so fit a second degree parabola remember students sometimes they won't mention the equation also just they will give second degree parabola which means to say it is y equal to x square plus bx plus c and one more time they may ask y equal to a plus bx plus cx square so both are same there is no difference so in this problem they are asking second degree parabola for the following data and hence estimate the value of y at x equal to 6 x and y they have given we have 5 pairs so the value of n is 5 as usual write on the normal equations first uh, now we have to construct the table you see what are the things required we require x x square is there x cube x to the power 4 is required x y is required x square y is required so write on all these things in the table so i have written all the values x and y they have given remaining you have to calculate it is advisable to use scientific calculator once you write down all these values take the summation so summation i have written the last row once you get summation as usual we have three normal equation substitute there this is three unknowns we have a b and c so once you solve these three equations we'll get the value of a as 0.29 approximately b as 0.49 and c as 9.4 substitute these three values in the given equation y equal to x square plus bx plus c you get the answer as y equal to 0.29 x square plus 0.49 x plus 9.4 they are asking one more question find y at x equal to 6 therefore in the last equation substitute x equal to 6 the value of y is 22.78 so this is all about this example therefore students you just remember in the curve fitting we have only three curves first one is straight line y equal to x plus b second one y equal to a into x to the power b third one y equal to x square plus bx plus c and at the end of this video i just want to tell simple observations and tips the first one is nature of the curve that is very important because when you are writing the exam be careful with the nature of the curve 
sometime they may not give y equal to ax plus b simply they will tell straight line so be careful whenever they ask straight line it is y equal to x plus b if they ask quadratic x square plus b x plus c so remember with the curves otherwise there is a possibility of making mistake and normal equation so write down the normal equation is very important as i mentioned it is easy to remember there is no question of by hearting how to find out first one direct summation if there is no variable multiply by n second one how to get summation by taking multiplying by x then take the summation how to get third normal equation multiply by x square then you take the summation third one it is very important calculation part because it looks to be very simple so there is a possibility of making the mistake so be careful about this calculation and even using calculator also don't be hurry take the time properly and write down the values because see in the second type we have log actually we have to take ln by mistake if you take log in the calculator log everything went on wrong so be careful about the calculation part last and most important thing is time management pick up your time properly in the examination set your time and at least 3 to 4 minutes try to finish this particular type of problems so this is the small observation that you have to follow so with this we will conclude this video in the upcoming video we will discuss about the same module about coefficient of correlation thank you so much have a nice day